This is Miguel with DH Metal and I'm here with none other than the Metal Queen Doro. Hi. How are you? Oh, very good, very good. It was, it was a great show tonight. Uh, you guys are closing a tour almost 23 days. You, yes. I don't know around you started at the beginning of the month. Yeah. Um, how was this tour for you this time around? It was so awesome. It was so amazing. We did many to us in, in the US, but I think this one was definitely one of the best, if even, I, I guess maybe the best. It was so great and the fans were so awesome all over and it was definitely, it was fantastic. And now after the show, you know, we're really sad that it's over. We're all totally exhausted, you know, it was it was hard because when you tour in yeah, February, you know, it was cold sometimes, we hit snowstorms, it was like hardcore, but um, it was awesome. And to finish tonight here in Arizona, oh man, the people were so cool and they came from all over, from Mexico City, a couple of people came from, oh, actually they drove 10, 12 hours, um, lots of Native American Indians, that's so good. I think the Navajo and Apache and everybody was there because we did an, um, a signing session at a guitar store before and then, you know, I got to talk to everybody and it was awesome. Yeah, the whole tour and... And Definitely, it was yeah. inspiring, a great show. I mean, I mean, the the energy, the people, your energy, it was amazing. Last November, you release uh, release um, your seventeen album, yeah, raise your, your fist, fist yeah. and um, well, this album is very strong, and you have a couple of collaborations with Lemmy and Gus G. Mm. How you ended up getting them aboard of the record? Yeah, oh, with Lemmy, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm friends uh, with for a long, long time, and I met Lemmy in the very early 80s, and I always loved him, and we toured together, and we played on many festivals, and um, yeah, and he's a great friend, and, and he's Lemmy, yeah, he's the best, and and I asked him if if he maybe wants to check out the song. It's called It Still Hurts, and he said, oh, I love it, let's do it. And we recorded it in L.A. And, oh, man, it was it was so awesome. And Gus G, actually, um, I always loved the guitar players of Ozzy, always. I was a big Jakey Lee fan, Randy Rhodes fan. I think he always has the best people. And, um, and then a friend of mine, he met Gus G at uh, the music messe in Frankfurt, Germany, and he was working with me on one song, on Grab the Bull, Last Man Standing, and then he said, hey, you never believe who's standing next to me, Gus G. And I said, really? He said, shall I ask him if he wants to play solo? And I said, oh, yes, please do. So, yeah, so he played a solo on, on the song uh, Grab the Bull, yeah, and it, it's always great to have special guests on it, and always makes the record very special and each song magical and and with Lemmy we um, worked together before it was uh, the Calling the Wild album we did uh, two songs together Alone Again and Love Me Forever the old Motorhead classic uh, which I always loved and yeah but it's it, it's it's a great honor and yeah, it means a lot to us. This album is always also special because it contains the song that you wrote in the memory of Ronnie Jean's video, which yes. is Hero. Um, how the inspiration from that song came across and um, do you recall any experiences or that you had with Ronnie James yes. Steele oh, that many. taught you or that you shared with him? Yeah, actually, um, my very first tour was actually in 87 uh, with Ronnie James Dio. We just um, had the Triumph and Agony album out and it was great. And, and Ronnie was always my favorite singer. I couldn't believe it going on tour together. I, I could always tour with my favorite bands. I don't know how it came about. My first tour was actually in 86 with Judas Priest and then 87 with Ronnie James Dio. And um, it was like the time when metal was so huge. And I watched every night. I watched his show. I watched, you know, how he how he was singing, how he was presenting himself. It was so soulful. And But we didn't, you know, 
I, I couldn't speak English that well in 87, so just like, you know, limited conversations, like have a great show and, you know, good, you know. And um, yeah, and then in 2000, we did a long tour and it was Ronnie James Dio and Ingrid Malmsteen and us and it was a three months tour here in the States and then we became really great friends and and yeah and it was awesome and then we um, started uh, the tour in San Francisco in the Fillmore uh, club it's a big and, and very very well known club like has a lot of history Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin everybody played there so that was very special and we ended in Florida and we did three concerts in Florida and then I was watching the show and and suddenly Ronnie he left uh, the stage and I thought where is he going and then the guys in my band we were all watching together from the side and you know they were looking at me and you know having a big smile and I said what's up and then I said you'll see and then Ronnie came back with a second microphone he came over he said oh let's sing the encores together let's make the fans happy and I thought man I, I don't know the lyrics he said doesn't matter just you know let's rock so in Florida we always did the encores together and then arm in arm and you know and unfortunately there weren't any videos Back then in 2000, no iPhones, so I just have some pictures which we put into the album, in uh, into the DVD, like the 25 years of rock and still going strong and then it's dedicated to Ronnie James Dio and then you see all the photos and I look like a baby, I have a smile from ear to ear and you know, and it's, it was so cool and yeah, and it was unforgettable and we played um, with Heaven and Hell and yeah, and we always like, yeah, 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 we had a... A strong bond and I think you know and and I felt because he was my idol I felt you know he was very very supportive always and he told me you know certain things and then he loved the version we did of um, Egypt it was for a tribute album and I loved the song and then Ronnie said man that's a nice version and sometimes I heard him saying that on the radio when the DJ was asking me which song shall we play and I said let's play Egypt and the version of the Doro band and I and sometimes I heard it and I thought oh, oh god so it um, it, it was awesome and yeah, so Hero is definitely it's a song it was the first song we wrote for this new record Race of Fist and it is yeah, to give thanks and honor and respect to Ronnie James Dio and, and we love him and yeah that's here, very touching. Sorry. That's yeah, very, no, very, very, very amazing. And well, this year it marks the 30 years that you start. I mean, your first record with yeah. Warlock and your yeah. your musical career. Do you ever thought that you will lo last this long and you know oh. be getting <laughs> until these times? No, actually, when when we started out, I had a couple of bands before Warlock. It was fun, but I had no idea. And then, Yeah, no, yeah. 30 years later, you know, it's uh, it's so much fun. The fans mean the world to me. It's the most important thing in my life. And yeah, and but I never would have thought that it would last that long. But I want to do it for the rest of my life. And I, I swear to God, I mean that <laughs> as no, long I, as the fans want to rock. I congratulate you because, I mean, getting 30 years in this business is not, not happen to anyone. I mean, not many bands it's have that, 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 that run that long. Yeah, it's a long time, but it feels to me like it was maybe two, three, four, five years. It, you know, time flies when it's good. And, and I love to make the fans happy. Then, you know, I could go to any length to, yeah, to make the fans, you know, happy or to give them something what they love or what gives positive energy or you know or sometimes some ballads many people say man gave me so much you know energy hope uh, even like the saddest songs because everybody goes through life and then you know has to face some heavy situations or losing a loved one and then when I write about it many people say it, it helped me to you know to make it through and that's like oh you know when it, you know, when it means something to somebody Yeah, you, you, your music definitely have touched many people in, in 30 years. Um, yeah. Yeah. After this tour, what is next for Doro? 
ja, we are going to um, Russia, doing a whole Russia, Ukraine tour, then Scandinavia, and then we are uh, doing all the big summer festivals. We play Wacken, which is one of my favorite festivals. It's in Germany, it's the biggest metal festival. Ah, it's so awesome. And then um, we're celebrating the 30 year anniversary. First, we want to do it in Wacken, uh, open air, and then we want to do it in my hometown where everything started in Germany, in Düsseldorf. And then we want to do it one time in America and one time in Paris, one time in London. And we're just trying to figure it out how we can do it. And then, yeah, and doing something really special, like a big show and with great guests. And we have done a couple of big anniversary shows. Um, the 20th anniversary, Lemmy and Mickey D of More, they were um, coming to celebrate with us in Texas. And then on the 25th anniversary, uh, Bobby Blitz of Overkill and the Scorpions, Boral Dane of Nevermore, and all the great ladies of metal came. My old Warlock band members came. We did a little reunion. So this time we definitely, you know, we would think of something what, you know, what what is special and then yeah then maybe making a dvd out of it but yeah that's up in the air i don't know it's it's but yeah but yeah we have dates to the end of the year and i hope that we can come back to the u.s and do another you know second leg of the we tour. always uh, yeah. hope to see you and and and, and want to see you again and uh wish you the best on these 30 years congratulations Thank like you. i repeat no or all artists get to this point Thank you very much for Thank coming you. to Arizona. Thank you very much for a great show, yes, a great really band. Great. You said that you're from um, Colombia. Colombia. Yes. And I tell you, I love South America to play there. The metalheads are so great. And we just played in Bogota in Colombia a little while ago. And it was unbelievable. So we definitely plan on going back to South America as well. That's great. Yeah, That's great. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Toro, for thank taking you. the time, for taking, you know, out of the schedule to talk into us with the H Metal yeah. and wish you the best, the thank you. best luck and thank great you. anniversary. Thank yes, you very much. Thank you so much to Metal Guys. We love you.